Hello everybody, Rod from Extreme Brushes. Uh, today we're going to take a look at my um, feather brushes. Uh, brushes that emulate um, feather effects, right? Uh, so I'm going to uh, just um, open a um, blank canvas here. And, uh, well, I've got two feather packs in my, in my Extreme Brushes shop. Uh, First, let's just to take a look at um, you know my my first uh, feather pack, right? Um, so this is the one. So this video is about my two uh, feather brush packs, right? So you're gonna be able to to take a look at the um, the link uh, down below, right, uh, in the video description. So this is the first one. Let's take a look uh, how this behaves. Uh, so I'm choosing here uh, X Feather 10, right, which is the first one. So, so everybody, this is um, this is the effect that you have, right, using the first one of the series of uh, feather brushes. Very nice. Now let's just a clear. Uh, oops clear the layer and uh, let's go to the second one X feather 9 remember that this pack here the first one has uh, 10 uh, feather brushes so um, this is the effect that you have um, of course that uh, the result depends on how you apply your force here you know the more the stronger you press the more solid the effect is, and the lighter you press, the more transparent the effect is. Um, let's go to the third one, which is uh, number eight. So this is just for feather detail, maybe. Um, now let's take a look at feather uh, seven. Okay, let's change the color uh, for change. Uh, so this is the effect that you have. Um, I'm using Feather Brush 7. Now guys, let's go to Feather Brush 6. So this is the effect. Uh, let's use a different color. You see that the effects are very, very realistic. Uh, now, testing out Feather uh, 5. Well, as you can see here, of course, you can uh, draw or paint Feather, but you can also use this for other types of uh, paintings. You know, it all depends on your imagination. Uh, this is, I forgot to mention, this is Feather 4. Now let's go to Feather 3, which I like very much. You know, this is really a nice feather effect. Well, um, just um, some people say that uh, these brushes are also good for foliage. So we can paint, for example, a palm tree here. very realistically yeah I like the idea I had never hadn't tried this before let's just see what we can do here just play a little bit uh, Nice, isn't it? Uh, okay, everybody, let's just uh, keep on trying. This is Feather Brush 2, right? Uh, looks a little bit like the other ones, or, but all of them have some difference. And this is Feather 1. Of course, that um, the result depends on how hard you 
brass, your Apple Pencil. Okay, everybody, now that we uh, have um, taken a look at these uh, feather brushes here, let's just, uh, going back to my gallery here, let me open one of my artworks. And let's see what we can do here uh, using feather brushes. What, how about putting some feather uh, around her neck, or her neck lace? Um, let me choose one here. Let's choose red. Let's see what we can we can do here. Just uh, an example of how you can use the brushes, right? For example, we can now make a, a smaller one and do like um, the the feather uh, itself had two colors, maybe even three colors. Why not? Well, these brushes are a lot of fun, right? I'm sure uh, it's going to save you tons of time when you're painting birds or, or fantasy artwork where you have feather wings, that sort of thing. Well, yeah, let's try to change the, the color here. Oops, oh, I, I didn't apply or... Uh, Apply us uh, a new layer for <laughs> Yeah, I have to undo everything because I forgot to apply a new layer here to this painting. Oh gosh, I just hope Burberry has enough undos here. Yeah, it does. Okay, guys, uh, so this was um, the demo of my first and the uh, most well known feather pack. Now I'm going to my second one, right? Because I have feather brushes and feather brush and fe and uh, Burgrade feather brushes 2.0. Um, now let me just uh, look. You know, it's so many brushes that I get a little lost here. Feather brushes 2.0. Well, this time the feather brushes are a little different because they all have um, a very clear feather uh, effect and uh, look. Right, different from the other one that you can use even for other types of artwork. Well, let's uh, let's just change the color of the background here, and uh, so that you can see the feathers uh, better. Okay, guys. So this is the first feather. All right, let's clear this up. Oops, again, I forgot to separate the layer. Let's just block this and uh, play with the layer above it. Okay, now the second type of feather. Okay, so this is the second type. No, this is still the first type, sorry. Um, let's go to the second type now. You know, just um, the shape's a little different. Now, guys, going to the third type of feather. Let's just uh, change the color again. Yeah, really nice, isn't it? And uh, of course, you know the shape of the feather depends on how hard you press your uh, your pencil. Now let's go to feather four, which is the fourth one. Here, let's just uh, use a different color. This one has a, a bit more taper, and uh, I like this one better. Changing color again. Now feather five. This is feather number five. Really, really nice. You know, guys, um, if you if if you like painting birds or um, fantasy artwork where you paint wings or you know feather effects, you know, I really I strongly recommend that you buy these at your packs, right? You're gonna, you know, it's gonna save you a lot of time. Like, you know, you're not gonna have to make you to do the feather effect, like painting, you know, exhaustively uh, those feather effects that you want. But you know, just 
a few brushes are going to get the work done. Um, yeah. And the lastly, Feather 8, which is uh, a little scattered. Yeah. Okay, guys, so, so this is um, my feather packs, right? Hope you have liked it. Hope you enjoyed it. And uh, see you next time in the next video. Goodbye.